maybe I'm just easily distracted. But if I'm working on my computer and the fan is being really noisy, it can be super annoying. Plus, it's a pretty good indicator that the fan could be dying. Fortunately, such a fix is easy and requires minimal effort. Hi, I'm MJ with iFixit, and today I'm going to show you how to replace the fan in a 13-inch unibody MacBook Pro. This video is a great overview of the process, but of course, when you're replacing your fan, you want to make sure to follow the step-by-step -step instructions and the repair guide on our site. This version is a mid-2011 version, and while the process is really similar for previous iterations, I'd still recommend following the repair guide for your specific MacBook Pro. That all being said, I'm going to go ahead and get my parts and tools together so I can get started. For this repair, you're going to need a plastic spudger, a Phillips 00 screwdriver, and a T6 Torx driver, both of which I got from our 54-piece bit driver kit. To get started, I'm going to go ahead and take out all the Phillips screws that are holding the lower case in place. Once the screws are out, the lower case should just pop right off. Okay, so we can already see the fan and the screws that are holding it in place, but before we touch those, we're going to disconnect the battery from the logic board. That way we can prevent any sudden power surges from occurring while we're working on the computer. You're going to use your plastic spudger and just kind of lift up one side and then lift up the other, kind of like you're walking the connector out of the socket. With the battery cable disconnected, we can start working on the fan. The fan is held in place by three screws and one connector, so I'll go ahead and take care of the screws. Now that connector is recessed into the socket, and I've heard of a lot of people accidentally popping both the connector and the socket off the logic board. So be very careful when you're lifting up to only lift up the connector and not the socket that's attached to the logic board. And that's it. All I need to do is install my new fan and reassemble my computer. Of course, you can find all of the parts and tools for this and many other repairs at ifixit.com. And if you run into any problems during your repairs, there are lots of solutions in the MacBook Pro Repair Guide on our site. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash ifixit. Thanks for watching and happy repairing.